morning everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 15. It's December the 15th, it's a Tuesday. Um, my name's Nicola and it is another bright sunny but chilly morning and I'm not going to moan about the sun getting in the way. Um, Karen from Denmark commented yesterday that they've had only one hour of sunshine um, where she lives so far in December so that is quite astonishing to those of us that do get you know albeit a, a shorter day this time of year we do actually get to see a little bit of sun so I hope you're all well um, thank you for all your lovely comments on yesterday's video um, it's really as, as always it's the highlight of my day to read read all the comments from you uh, quite a few people had asked me about the dinner that I was uh, mentioned that we were having yesterday, which was the Lancashire Hot Pot. Now, if you're not from the UK and not familiar with it, um, Lancashire Hot Pot, it's, it's not a, a dish that you'd like if you don't like lamb. Um, it's basically lamb. Um, the recipe I use is on the BBC Food website it's by um, the chef James Martin and he is from I think he's more of a Yorkshire man than a, um, a Lancashire man but yeah it's still from that sort of neck of the woods and his recipe for Lancashire hot pot is amazing it's essentially um, I use fillet of lamb carrots onions seasoning and lots of um, a layer of very thinly sliced potatoes on the top um, that sort of soak up all the lovely juices and then crisped off at the end it is absolutely delicious if you're interested i will pop the recipe in the description box below a link to the recipe so that you can go and have a look if you fancy that i will just add the recipe that i'm i link um james martin's recipe does call for um lamb and also lamb's kidneys there's no way kidneys are going in my hot pot so um each to their own if you like them then I'm sure they'd be delicious for you but oh no not having kidneys in this house so moving on I have got double advents today I've got the stitchery again and those threads yesterday weren't they amazing I did speak to um, I can't remember the lady's name but the beautiful stitch is on Instagram and obviously once the gift from yesterday was revealed she did post on her own Instagram page and the really good news is that in the new year she's launching a website so you will be able to buy her threads and she's going to be doing linens as well so that's really exciting I think she's going to post a few um, little sneaky peeks between now and her website going live so I will um, I'll just put her name here on the, her Instagram handle here at the bottom of the screen. So go and give her a follow. Um, yeah, and look out for some, some pretty things coming up soon from her. Okay, today's. We've got the stitchery, number 15. And we are up to day... I've got a hair stuck to my face. <laughs> We've got day eight from Jewels of So Sweet Violet. So should we start with number eight? Now... I think I can guess what this might be. Feels very suspiciously like a skein of yarn. So let's have a little look. And it is. How pretty is that? This is called Let It Snow by The Wall Barn. And Maya um, from The Wall Barn is one of my favourite indie dyers. She just has such a way with colour. Her yarns are always absolutely beautiful. This is a twist sock four ply skein and it's 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So I think this could be my Christmas Eve cast on for a pair of socks. Definitely. So pretty, all those little delicate speckles sort of terracotta and pink on that lovely creamy ivory base with a lovely little flash of pink in there and it's just lovely when they knit up you just get those little flashes of colour don't you so absolutely beautiful love that okay oh I'm very hungry this morning I haven't actually had any breakfast yet we had to um, rush about a bit this morning because the man was coming from 
British gas to service the boiler and you know boring house stuff like that so it's a bit of a a mad one just rushing around getting everything ready and yes I still haven't had my breakfast so I should be doing that very soon anyway enough about my tummy rumbling the stitchery is another of their beautiful little kits all wrapped up beautifully this is so cute this is so cute and it's called tree delivery another beautiful little stitching kit these have just been amazing i'm just so thrilled with everything that i've had from the stitchery and from jules obviously but i've seen jules's um i've had jules's products before so i knew what i was getting but with the stitchery i was just going by what i'd seen on instagram last year so here's the the design on the linen and here are the threads let's see if we can get them well i meant to bring mary and minty out here to show you those are the threads gorgeous and that the seeing these colors reminded me of mary and minty i did get it um all my threads sorted out yesterday afternoon had a chocolate cookie and a cup of tea and made a start on that it's not a huge start because i was um preparing the the hot pot the Lancashire hot pot so yeah but I've got the Rudolph done and a little tiny bit of the tree so I'll show you later on my progress on that but yes so two more beautiful advent gifts lovely a bit later on I'm going to try and have a go at finishing the small um cross stitch that I showed you the other day that I'd finished the house uh, stitching with the housewives one that I finished the little truck see if I can do a finish on that and if you remember when I did the craft room tour I showed you briefly the knitted um, reindeer head that I'd done last year and hadn't sort of finished off the the wooden um, plaque that it goes on so I might see if I can get a chance to do that today and of course I'll share it with you as well but uh, Yes, off for breakfast now, so I'll catch up with you later. Hello again, I'm just in my craft room at the moment. Uh, I mentioned to you that I started the Merry and Minty uh, stitch along yesterday. Sorry, you can see the light through that, can't you? Have I got something that I can just pop behind it? Not to hand, okay. Let me just see if I can put that behind it. So you can see I've made a, a tiny start here but I didn't buy a very big piece of linen, as you can see, and it's fraying dreadfully. So even though it's a small project, I'm gonna take the time to just give that a little whiz with a zigzag stitch on my sewing machine. So that's a little job for this afternoon. Um, this is the, this is a knitted reindeer head that I did last year. So you can see he's all, he's all done, all knitted. Um, and I bought this little wooden plaque in, I think it was in Hobbycraft last year, but I just didn't get around to finishing it. So I would like to get this done. So I'm going to use some um, Mod Podge glue to glue some fabric onto here. And then I'll probably just use some hot glue to fix, fix him to, so it becomes sort of like a, you get the idea, like a sort of trophy head. And I'll see if I can find some, originally I was going to put some Liberty fabric on this and just have it as a, a deer head. But I think it's a bit more festive. It's more of a Rudolph than, you know, than a stag's head. So I think I'll try and find some Christmas fabric that will look nice on there and see if I can get that to work. So that's another little job for this afternoon. And while I was rummaging about for some um, supplies for those jobs, well, for the, the deer head, I found this. Again, something that I bought last year, these little felted, um, needle felting decorations. So I'm going to have a little go at these, maybe not this afternoon, but I'm definitely going to, over the next few days, have a little go at these. They're so cute though, the little squirrel, um, the deer there, and the little fox. And everything's included in this pack, it's, it's just a little cheap and cheerful one. 
I thought might be quite fun and if they come out okay they look really quite sweet on the Christmas tree so that's um, a few little things that I'm going to do this afternoon I'll leave the camera running for some of it so that you can see some of the bits and pieces I won't it's not a tutorial or anything like that I'm just going to have a little play in my craft room and I'll share some snippets with you um, and put some pretty music over it Hi guys, so I've just um, finished doing my few little crafty bits, which I hope you enjoyed. Um, but I did break my glue gun, so I just about managed to finish off the reindeer head and the glue gun just broke. The, the tr squeezy trigger thing has just snapped off, so it was only a cheapy one. So I guess I'll need to get another one of those before I can do any more finishes. So that will be it for today, but I hope it's been fun and I'll see you all tomorrow.